Well, lastly, the shock of the day. Lowly fourth division Tranmere met the goal-scoring might of Chelsea, who are riding it at the top of Division 2. And how they must have frightened the Londoners. Twice they were ahead. It was only bad luck that robbed them of victory, as Kenneth Wistenholm now reports. And here at Trenton Park, Birkenhead, home of Tranmere Rovers team. Tranmere Rovers team in all white strip, almost invisible against the carpet of snow on which this match will be played. Tranmere, at least with their full team out, they meant to watch Dave Hickson, number nine, at centre forward. And uh, over at the other side in those dark shirts, the traditional dark shirts of Chelsea, the second division league leaders, all but two of whom are sensibly wearing gloves on this surface which is covered by something like an inch or an inch of half snow and underneath that is a very hard top surface indeed. And in this clash of fourth division versus second division it's Tranmere in this all white strip who kick off the referee Mr. Horner of Coventry is checking his watches and this FA Cup third round tie begins. Remember Chelsea way out on top of the second division playing as well as a Chelsea side has ever played in the whole of the history of the club. Tranmere near to the bottom of the fourth division with just a point a match average but still they haven't been beaten at home since October the 6th. An enthusiastic crowd buying Tranmere. They've got even got supporters of Everton and Liverpool here. Chelsea not likely to be worried about that now. Shelly Toe. Shelly to Moore, the schemer of the Chelsea forward line. The man who lies behind the rest of the forwards. Conroy up to Hickson. Dave Hickson, a great favourite always on Merseyside. Right. Menables for Chelsea. Now to Shelly A lot of stamina and Courage is going to be necessary in this game as well as footballing skill. Obviously dropping back to keep help keep an eye on Tambling. Now, Neil. And Neil very strong in the tackle forward. Bolton and Betty player coming away with it, but so many players is finding it difficult to control the ball when making a pass. Now Peter Jackson is very promising young centre half of Tramian hard to Hickson. Hickson unable to find Jones. Chelsea moving on to the attack. Jackson, that's a dangerous one with a fast character like Bridges on your heels. Hickson, they get back to Govin. Govin now to Hickson, now to the right half back King. And here's Jones, the inside right. Upton covering him and going into the tackle, but it's a corner. And this crowd at Tremere. Sounding as loud in the phrases of the home side as any crowd at Goodison Park or Anfield just across the river from here. Jones with the corner for Tramway. That's a lovely one, King! A goal! He scored! Eighteen minutes gone! King has scored and two youngsters come on the field to add in the congratulations. And what are two youngsters coming on now? This is very silly. There's going to be quite a lot of trouble if the youngsters do this. So, Tranmere Rovers are a goal up. And the crowd really happy now. Forgotten all about that frozen toes, their frozen fingers, and this fiddle breeze which is sweeping across this pitch, but as Tranmere Rovers have taken the lead against the mighty Chelsea. Definitely Tranmere going all out, but Jones limping away from that tackle as Chelsea come onto the attack now, and Tamling is hitting that one. All these speedy Tranmere defenders are always there first, hustling the Chelsea forwards into mistakes. Uh, Venables, more attacking wing half, and finding Tambling. Up comes Venables again to Murray. And Jackson, certain and sure-footed as ever. Mortimer into 
Shelito. Upton, he's got Harris on his left, but prefers to find Venables now to Moore. Bridges back to Moore, out to Blundstone. Tramier just falling back in face of this, and that's Harris who's moved up the left wing. Now Tramier going to get a shot in, should be the equaliser it is. 33 minutes gone. And the irrepressible Bobby Tamling has got the equaliser. It's almost silent except for the roar of the faithful Chelsea supporters who've made a long journey in these bad weather conditions. The Tramier must give Bobby Tamling chances like that. That's Campbell up to Hickson. The Baltimore coming in so quickly. And a bit of trouble between Baltimore and Hickson. And Baltimore has been hit in the face. And Barry H Dave Hickson in a bit of trouble again. to it but Venables coming across very strongly oh, finding Lundstone very rarely wastes the ball more Lundstone to number eight Tambling must be half time any second now as in comes Bridges and experienced defenders Conroy and goalkeeper Leyland Mortimer putting it back And the whistle goes for half time with the score one goal each. And so let's see whether Chelsea can pull it out of the bag in the second half or whether this quick, hard tackling Tremere team can worry them out of their usual immaculate style. Here's Gubbins. And that cross three one. And there's the limping king. He's got even heavier bandage now on his right leg. Still finding Campbell. And now to Neil. I think it's here by mistake. Is it going to be a goal here? Oh, what a mistake by Belletti. Jones has scored. Jones has put Tranmere 2-1 in the lead. Only a minute of the second half gone. Baltimore appealing to the referee. Offside, no doubt. And Chelsea making a really vigorous appeal for offside. They want the referee to have a word with the linesman, but he says no. But offside or no offside, the referee now looking to the linesman, and the linesman just keeping his flag down. Campbell and Campbell now being very silly towards the inside left more. Campbell was well inside the center circle long before the ball was kicked off. So Tramier at 2-1 in the lead. And offside or no offside, it was a bad mistake by Bonetti. And now the Tramier players are joining with the fans in trying to rile the Chelsea lads. Hickson calling at the Chelsea plays and there's Gubbins having a word with Hickson very sensibly too and Hickson now being spoken to deservedly he was shouting at the Chelsea players it's very silly if Tranmere are going to throw their advantage away by being rather stupid about things there's Bridges on the left wing to Tamling. Can Tamling get a shot in the other lovely save by Leland? Uh, up 
two. Finney. And Baltimore. Now, Murray inside the tabling, back to Moore. In comes Munster from the left wing. Now to Bridges, a lovely goal, a beautiful goal by the centre forward Bridges. With 61 minutes gone, Barry Bridges has equalised. Well, Chelsea were satisfied with the draw, for they must start hot favourites before their own crowd at Stamford Bridge for the replay on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. But Tranmere's John King will probably miss this match. Well, those two names, Tranmere and Chelsea, bring the total of teams going to the hat for the next round of the Cup to 62, two less than in the previous round. Let's hope this foul weather soon comes to an end, or else this year's FA Cup competition will still be in progress next year. What a thought.